lines and intercepts application. Find equation of a straight line which passes through the point 10, 2 and the sum of whose intercepts on the coordinate axis is 3. This is an excellent question. I'd like you to pause the video, try to solve it and then look into my suggestions. Now let's read the question once again. It says find equation of a straight line which passes through the point 10, 2 and the sum of whose intercepts on the coordinate axis is 3. So let's start with the intercepts. So say let x intercept be a and y intercept be B, right so these are my x and y intercepts now it says sum of these intercepts is 3 that means we have a plus b equals to 3 so this is the first part so we can write what a is in terms of b from here so we get a equals to 3 minus b right so we'll call this as equation 1 now if y intercept is b, we can always write down the equation of line in slope intercept form. So we can say then the equation of line could be y equals to mx plus b, right? Where m is the slope. Now, what is slope? If you know x and y intercepts, you know slope also. Slope will be m is equals to minus b over a, right? Since you know that, let me just sketch it here for you. I'm just writing, just showing you a general, general line, right? So it is not pertaining to this solution, but it is for general information. Now if I have, let us say this is my A, the x-intercept and y-intercept is B. Slope is rise over run. So you have to go down B units, right? That is why I have minus B here. And run is plus A. So that is the slope. So in terms of intercepts, that is my slope. And since we know A is 3 over minus B, I can write this as minus B over 3 minus B. Okay? So that becomes the slope. Now since this is the slope, I can substitute this value of slope in my equation number 2, which is equation for the line. So this is my equation 3. So let me substitute 3 in 2, right? In 2. And see what do we get. So we get our equation as y equals to m slope is minus b over 3 minus b times x plus y intercept b. So that is the equation we get. Now, we will try to solve this equation. We will do it on the right side. Okay. To solve this equation, let's multiply by 3 minus b. All these terms. Then we get what? We get 3 minus b times y equals to minus bx plus 3 minus b times b. Okay, so we multiplied all these terms by 3 minus b, getting rid of fractions. Okay, now we have only one variable here, kind of, and what we can do, we can solve for that variable. We also know that the point 10, 2 lies on the line. So, to solve it further, we'll use the given point. So, we have a point which is 10 to which lies on this particular line. So let's substitute 10 for x and 2 for y. So if I write 10 for x and 2 for y, we get 3 minus b times 2 equals to minus 10x, which is 10 for x minus 10b plus 
3 minus b times b. So now we have equation which has only b's in it and we can always solve for b. So let's open the bracket. We get 2 times 3 is 6 minus 2b equals to minus 10b plus 3b minus b square. Break them together. We get b square and minus 2b minus 10. Let's bring them all together here first and then we'll combine the like terms. I hope that'll be simpler, right? Okay. So we've brought all the terms to the left side. Now we'll combine the like terms. Minus 2b plus 10 is 8b minus 5 is 5b plus 5b plus 6 equals to 0. So we get a quadratic equation in B, which we can solve using quadratic formula, or we can factor also at this time. 6 is 3 times 2. When you add 3 and 2, you get 5. So we can write this as B plus 3 times B plus 2 equals to 0. So that gives us two solutions. So one solution here is, so that gives us two solutions, right? One of the solution is, b equals to minus 3 and the other one is b equals to minus 2. So if I put minus 3 here, this will be 0. 0 times anything is 0. Same is the case when I put b is minus 2. So there's, these are two possible solutions. Now as you can see, with these two possible solutions, we get two different values of slope, right? So let me call this as my equation 4, right? Now from here, what we will do is we'll first find what slope is. So we'll use 4 with 3. So two different equations we are solving. Correct? So let me just bifurcate it from here onwards. So for the first one, if I put b as minus 3, what is my slope? In that case, slope is equals to minus and minus becomes plus. So we get 3 over 3 minus minus 3 over 6 which is equal to half. So slope is half in this case. If the slope is half and b is minus 3, then what is the equation? Equation will be y equals to slope is half, so I'll write half here, x, and b is minus 3, so minus 3. So that is my first equation, correct? So I can say, well, this is one of my solutions. And the other solution is, slope equals to, we'll put b as minus 2 in the given equation. Minus of minus 2 is plus 2, so we get 2 here. Minus and minus will make it plus, so 3 plus 2 is 5, so we get slope of 5, 2 over 5. Since slope is 2 over 5, we can write equation of line as y equals to 2 over 5x and b is minus 2, minus 2, okay? So we get our second equation which is y equals to 2 over 5x minus 2. So we get two solutions for the given situations. Well, now you can check for yourself. If I place 10 as x value, I get 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. So that point lies on this line. If I put 10 here, 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 2 is also 2. So the point 10, 2 lies on this. And we have already checked with our intercepts. Their sum is indeed 5. And therefore both these lines satisfy the condition, right? So that is how you can solve such questions. I hope you appreciate it. So be a member or subscribe my videos to learn more and do some interesting questions. Thank you and all the best.